guys, hi, it's me Mems tonight and in today's Hair Spire video, you will not believe who I'm featuring. I'm featuring the amazing Ati Lola of African Naturalistas. As you can see, I'm in her hair clinic and I'm going to be interviewing her, asking her a lot of questions. You guys know I love to direct you to the people who know it, who know what they're doing and who can give you all the information you need about natural hair. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. My name is Ati Lola Morofolu and um... I am the founder of African Naturalista. It has been made successful by a lot of other supportive ladies who have natural hair. Okay. Well, what makes me happy is just uh, thinking about new ideas of how what I love can impact the world. As long as I see people happy and fulfilled. I decided to start making products not intentionally. One of the people in my department, she knows that I have a natural hair blog and she knows that I like to talk about hair and she was complaining about her daughter's hair and uh, I said, okay, you know what? I can mix up this thing for you. Maybe when you apply it to your daughter's hair, it will be better. So she gave me a thousand naira. I went to the market, I bought shea butter, I bought castor oil, I bought coconut oil, I had a little cream in my house that had a very good fragrance. So I whipped this butter, added that little cream for the fragrance and I gave her a jar of whipped butter. I had a jar of whipped butter for myself. I had some remainder olive oil, coconut oil and shea butter and I had change left. It was profitable for me because I was like, okay, I had my own cream. She had her own big jar of cream. I had change left and I had raw materials left out of 1,000 naira. Like some months after that, I resigned. Like, okay, you can make products. You started making some sets of products. So I decided to learn how to make the shampoos and the mayonnaise and the anti-dandruff herbal rings. And just like that, a year later, I rebranded. And I mean, it's a very long story, but that's just the summary of it. That's how we got here today. I, was, I used to read a lot of natural hair blogs. Well, I noticed that a lot of the things I was reading in those blogs were not working for me because we're for black Americans and they would say oh they use this product and I will use it on my hair and it won't have any effect on my hair and their hair basically looks very different from my hair and I was like I'm sure I'm not the only Nigerian going through this particular problem I was like okay you know what I'm gonna be looking for Nigerians specifically that had natural hair blog and I kept looking for Nigerian blogs that dealt with natural hair and I didn't find any and this was way back in 2011 so I was like from June, once it's December and I don't find any blog that has to do with natural hair I'm going to start blogging about natural hair by August I had an accident oh, I went to the hospital and said I had to go on a bed I was like you know what Maybe you shouldn't wait till December to start this blog anymore. So that's how I started my blog in August 2011. Honestly, it was that like two weeks later, I saw like three bloggers that were blogging about Nigeria and they were Nigerians. I was like, can you imagine? Like, I've been looking for this view for months. And I start my blog finally. Two weeks later, I find other people blogging about Nigeria that are Nigerians. Three of them, natural Nigerian, all naturals then and deep brown and kings. Well, I've been very, very fortunate to have the most amazing team members. I think it's just God because I knew right from time that I didn't want the blog to be just about me. What I did was that I, I got the people that used to comment regularly on the blog and they were already bloggers because I wanted seven bloggers and I got even more than I, I bargained for. They are dedicated, they are committed, they don't, they don't get paid. And um, I give them, as for content, I give them free hands to do what they want to do. Anything they want to write, they should write. So far, the information is relevant. So far, it is true. So far, it is useful. My inspiration comes from God because really, I think God just blesses me with a mind that never rests. When people ask me to solve a problem, I think that also gives me inspiration 
I read a lot. I read a lot. Like I like reading. I watch movies because I work a lot, so I need to actually calm my mind down. So